Hey everybody, this is Joel with Backroad Builds. If you haven't noticed already, there are many different types of welding joints that you'll come across while fabricating or repairing things in your shop. Today I want to talk about two of the most common joints and some of the techniques for welding them. The first joint I want to talk about is a butt joint. It's simply two pieces of material butted together and welded. Now depending on how thick the material is, you may have to bevel the pieces to get good penetration. With a butt weld, you don't want too large of a gap, and in some cases, you don't want a gap at all, such as using thinner material on automotive restoration. If your gap is too large or widens out in a spot, you will burn through the material. When you weld a butt joint, you want enough heat so the weld penetrates the backside, but does not burn through, causing a hole that you'll have to go back and fill later. So material prep is key to getting a good, solid butt weld. What I'd like to do next is demonstrate three butt welds. The first one would like to be the proper butt weld with the right gap and the right material getting through on the backside, good penetration. The next one, I'm going to purposely leave the gap a little bit wide and a little too much heat so I get that burn through in the hole that I talked about. And on the third one, I'm gonna run a little bit fast so it's cold and I do not get the proper penetration. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Now that weld there has decent penetration through to the back side. It's nice and flat on the top here. That would make a good butt weld. All right, now the wire went through. I was hoping for a little bit bigger of a hole, but you can see I made it about maybe a half inch or so. There's a little, little hole there we'd have to go back and fill. Okay, as you can see here, my travel speed was a little faster. And on the back side, we do not have any penetration at all. The next joint I want to talk about is a T-joint. I see this joint most often in fabricating and repair. It's not a difficult joint to weld, but a common situation that I run into is when the materials are different thicknesses. Normally when welding a T-joint, both materials are the same thickness and you would concentrate your wire at the center of the joint. But if you have two different thicknesses of base materials, you don't want to burn through the thinner material, yet you want enough penetration in the thicker material for a good weld. What I typically do is I set the machine up for the thicker material, and then as I'm welding, I concentrate the wire more on the thicker piece and then push the puddle into the thinner piece. This way I know I'm getting a good weld, good penetration on the thicker material without burning through the thinner material. Now these are just two of the most common weld joints you'll come across. The techniques I provided will help you feel confident when welding either a butt or a T-joint. <laughs>